So I'm gonna talk to you about using watercolor pencils. So you have 12. Um, what's gonna be really, really important for you to pay attention to is this gold writing. Because sometimes they get mixed up, sometimes students don't put them back where they're supposed to be. Um, so if it's got this little gold paintbrush, Crayola watercolor, then you're, you're good to go. Um, watercolor pencils are really, really cool. Um, they're just, they're number one, they're just fun to use. But number two, they allow you to have a little bit more control. Watercolor is real loose. Um, this gives you a little bit more um, control over that. So um, this side, this side of your paper that you have glued in to your sketch, but just kind of goes over the basic directions just in case you forget. Um, has a place for you to write where it's due. It also has where you flip those stencils. A um, few other tips. So make sure you read through that. On this side, I want you to fill it out. Um, so you're picking your color scheme. So that could be cool or warm or analogous or monochromatic. Um, you could do your primary color, any of those color families. Okay, so that's going to be here. So inside your square, so remember your, your final paper, you've got two sections. You've got this inside part and then you have this border. So uh, you're gonna have two color schemes. So one inside and one outside. The most popular one happens to be warm colors on the inside, cool colors on the outside, but you don't have to do that. I've had some really, really lovely ones with monochromatic, with analogous. Um, so be creative. But what I want you to do is I want you to write down what color scheme. So let's say you did choose warm, then you would write warm, and then you would describe what colors those are. Um, so warm colors are not described, but list. So warm is red, orange, and yellow. Okay. And red is also including pink because pink is a tint of red. All right. And then you would choose a color scheme for inside your border. So let's say you wanted to do um, analogous on that. So remember, analogous is gonna be colors that are beside each other on the color wheel. So I'm gonna do blue, green, and yellow, okay? And then down here, um, I just have some boxes where I want you to try, try experimenting with the color, watercolor pencils first before you jump into your project. So here we have something kind of lightly colored in. Okay, and then colored in dark. Um, layering two colors. So let's do blue and green together. And then blending and fading into each other. So let's do green fading into blue. All right, so then once you have everything colored in, then you would add water to see the different ways this can turn out. So one other thing that I really love about watercolor pencils is that not only do you have more control, but you also, like even though you have 12 pencils, you can do a lot with that. So um, let's say you have this light blue, um, you can do Colored in dark, colored in light. You could do light blue, so blue, even though it says light blue, like a lighter version of that, so blue and white. You could add black to it. You could add green to it. You could add dark green to it. You could add dark green, blue, and white to it. Okay, so add some white to this one. Add some black to that one. Uh, what did I say? Green, dark green. Mm. Dark green, blue, and white. And then dark green, blue, and black. All right. So. 
with watercolor, and this goes with pan watercolors or watercolor pencils. The more water you put onto it, um, the, the more translucent it's going to be. So if you have a lot of water that you're kind of spreading around, then you're gonna dilute that color. So um, what I like to do is just kind of, once I get my brush wet, kind of wipe it off on the side so it's not like dripping wet. While you are painting, you're gonna wanna work, work the water into that pigment, but make sure that you're not peeling up the paper, okay? So you wanna be real light-handed with this. If you notice that um, it's not as dark as you want it to be, then let it dry and then add some more to it. Don't just keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. So you can see here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different kinds of colors. And really I'm just using, you know, these right here, okay? So it kind of works very similar to mixing acrylic paint, okay? So if I were doing analogous, I could use all of these colors. So don't think that when you do analogous, you just can use these three. You can use all of these in any combination, okay? All right, uh, something else that you need to know, um, if you are painting your picture, um, you can do this two ways. You can like color a section and then put water on it and then color a section and put water on it. Some people work like that. You can color the whole thing and then choose to do the watercolor. Now I think about that is you wanna make sure that as you're coloring your sections, you don't color, sorry, you don't add water to sections that are next to each other. Because if you add water to this section, then when you add water to this section, they're gonna bleed together. So you wanna make sure that it is dry before you move on um, and add water to your next section. Um, I think that is everything you need to know. So um, play around. If this is not enough room, then play around on some of the other pages that you've already done, maybe in some spaces that are empty. Um, watercolor pencils are a super fun way to add color. Um, you can also go back and even with your watercolor pencil wet, um, you can make it paint like painterly. So play around with them, have fun with them. Um, not only is this a project that I want you to show your understanding of color schemes and organic lines and geometric lines, but it's also, I, I want you to have fun with it. I want you to experiment with it. So, enjoy.